In this module, you will learn about the agriculture of Gujarat. Agriculture is the primary activity of people living in Gujarat. People cultivate cereals, oil seeds, pulses, beans, fruits, vegetables and flowers. Animal husbandry is also a part of farming. Let's look at some of the major crops grown in Gujarat. Millet or Bajri requires sandy and soft-coloured or Guradu soil, less rainfall, moderate temperature and enough sunlight. Gujarat is the second largest producer of millet in India. Banas Kadha is the leading millet-producing district in Gujarat. Bali is the second most important crop of Gujarat in terms of production. It is grown in summer as well as winter. It is mainly used as fodder. Wheat requires black, loamy and clayey soil, which retains moisture. It requires moderate temperature and rainfall with proper sunlight during harvesting time. The districts which produce wheat are Ahmedabad, Bhavnagar and Surendranagar. The Bhalla wheat of the Bhel region of Ahmedabad, that is Dhanduka Taluka, is well known. Paddy or rice requires fertile soil with more rainfall. It is grown in waterlogged farms. Maximum rice is produced in the Khera district of Gujarat. Groundnut requires less fertile mixed soil. Junagar is the leading producer of groundnut in Gujarat. Cotton is best grown in black soil. The best quality long thread of cotton from Kannam province of Bharuch in Gujarat is well known. Sugarcane requires fertile land with irrigation facility and appropriate rainfall. It is mostly grown in the districts of Surat, Navsari and Saurashtra. Tobacco best grows in fertile, sandy and soft-coloured or guradu soil. It requires moderate rainfall. When the leaves of tobacco plant dry, they appear yellow like gold. Charothar district is the leading producer of tobacco in Gujarat. Some of the other crops grown in Gujarat include sesumi, castor and pulses. Gujarat is a leading producer of castor in India. Pulses such as gram, moong, mat, urad and tuar are grown in sufficient amount in order to make the soil soft and fertile. Horticulture involves the cultivation of plants. It covers four groups, that is, fruits, vegetables, spices and flowers. Horticulture is developed in South Gujarat, as the soil in this region is very fertile. Fruits which are grown in Gujarat are Kesar, Alfanzo mangoes, Chikus, bananas, papayas, grapes and strawberries. Coconuts are grown in the coastal areas of Gujarat. Vegetables like bitter goud, onion and gourds are grown in Gujarat. Spices such as cumin seeds, chilli, fennel, isabgol and mustard are grown here. Flowers include roses, lily, marigold, jasmine and tuber rose. In Gujarat, the rainfall is quite irregular. Yet agriculture is quite developed because of the improved irrigation facilities. Irrigation refers to the artificial methods of providing water to land in order to assist in the production of crops. Irrigation projects like the Narmada project are constructed to conserve water in dams. The water from the dams is supplied to irrigate the fields through canals. This may decrease the fertility of the soil in the long run. The water in the dams 
is also used to produce hydroelectricity. Some of the major dams in Gujarat are shown here. A number of conservation methods have been implemented in Gujarat to check the flow of water during the monsoons. Irrigation facilities like farm ponds and check dams have been set up. Farm ponds or Ketalavri are built on the slope land of farms to store rain water. The water from these ponds serves as domestic and livestock water supplies as well as irrigation for high value crops and vegetables. Check dams are constructed across a drainage ditch or a small river to lower the flow of water during the monsoons and prevent soil erosion. Check dams allow the water to sink in the soil and thus increase underground water recharge. In some areas, sandbag dams or Boriban dams are also constructed to prevent the water in rivers from overflowing. The water from the large rivers have been diverted to charge the dry rivers. For example, the Narmada river water has been used to charge the Saburmati and Saraswati rivers. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the agriculture of Gujarat.